Hello everybody, welcome again to another interesting quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. Our topic for today is heights and distance. Another important topic when it comes to your job placement test and your entrance exams. You'll notice that whichever exam asks this uh, questions on this topic asks you at least three to four questions from heights and distance. And trust me, all of these questions can be very, very easy to solve if you just know some basic concepts right and you have practiced sufficiently. So let's learn from this video. And after we have learned the topic, make sure that you go back to careerright.com and practice the questions because without practice, it is very difficult to crack any exam. Okay, so let's begin. Now see, before you can actually get on to the questions, it is very important to know some very basics of this chapter. Okay, and the first thing that you have to know here is angle of elevation and angle of depression because this is something that you are going to use throughout the chapter. Okay, now let's talk about angle of elevation first. Let's see the first diagram. Okay, so uh, we have got CE. The brown line that you see is the horizontal here, which means it is the ground where you would be standing. Okay, and this uh, blue bar DE, it is the height. It could be the building, the tree, the tower or anything that is given to you. Okay, and since it is standing on the ground, we will assume that it is standing erect. It is forming an angle of 90 degree here. Okay, now if you are standing at say position A and you are trying to look at the uh, top of the tower, okay, that is point D, your eye will form uh, this line of sight will be this A and D, right, that I have marked here, line of sight, okay, and the uh, angle that it will form, the line of sight that will form with the horizontal is the angle of elevation, okay, so D, A, E is the angle of elevation here, okay, now, the next important thing to know here is if you try to move behind, okay, from A, if you move to point B and now if you try to look at the top of the tower to the point D, you yourself know that you have to lift your head little less this time, okay. So, your line of sight will form a smaller angle here, okay. So, D, B, E will be smaller if you go further behind if you move to point c then this angle will be further smaller now what is the application of this kind of a concept here why am i am i telling you all this because there you will find questions where you may at times find number one these direct questions what happens to the angle of elevation right this could be a direct question but otherwise also in most of the questions you will find that you have to apply this concept that the person is moving either uh, forward or he is moving backward and angle of elevation is given to you. So it is very, very important that when you draw the diagram, you are able to draw the diagram correctly. And if you know this concept right, you will draw the diagram correctly. Okay. Now let us come to angle of depression here. Angle of depression is formed. Now assume, let us assume that AC is again the horizontal here. It is the horizontal as we had marked last time. And uh, BC is again the tower, the tree, the building, whatever it may be. And let's say you are standing on top of this tower, tower this time. Okay. You are standing at point B. Okay. And from there you are trying to look at the uh, ground. And you are trying to look at the point at some object placed at point A. Now, when you get your head down and your uh, line of sight is this. Okay. So when you uh, get your head down, your, uh, you look at the object like this. And your line of sight is BA. Okay. Now this angle, this yellow line. Okay. We let us mark it DB. Okay. This is parallel to the horizontal and the angle that is formed here. Okay. Angle DBA. This is angle of depression actually. This is angle of depression. Now the important thing and the interesting thing to know here is since db is parallel to ac angle dba is going to be equal to angle bac so effectively you are always always talking about angle bac in most of the cases right so whether you are given angle of elevation angle of depression just pay attention and see that you are always 
talking about the angle that your eyesight is forming with the ground okay so in both the cases we are talking about this angle in a case of depression it is bac that we are talking about and in case of elevation we are talking about angle d a e right so if you have got these two things correct most of your questions will come out to be correct okay because you will apply your uh, formula correctly let's move on to the next important thing okay now the next thing that i'm going to talk to you about is actually some tips that will help you solve the questions easily the first thing that i've got here is the tree wall building or the tower whatever height is given to you okay it will be in context with the ground so let us draw the ground and whatever building height tower tree whatever is given to you it is always and always perpendicular to the ground so this angle will always be 90 degree okay this is the first thing that you have to remember whenever you are drawing your diagrams to solve any questions okay the next thing is in many questions you will find that uh, they say that the object standing on the ground so this is the ground and this is the object maybe let us say a tree it is casting a shadow on the ground okay so while this is the tree it is casting a shadow so whatever shadow it is casting let us assume that this is the shadow that it is casting the object and the shadow will have a an angle of 90 degree here where they meet on the ground okay this is the next thing that you will apply in the questions the third thing is whenever they say that uh, there are uh, two parallel roads or there are two banks of the river okay in that case always draw this horizontal okay and these two ends assume them to be the this is one parallel road okay and this is another parallel road so assume these to be the two ends of the horizontal okay uh, similarly if they say that uh, there are two banks of the river okay so let us draw this horizontal again and these two ends are the two banks of the river this will make the, uh, solving the questions easier for you so just remember these tips and it will be easier for you to solve the questions the next important thing that will require to solve the questions from this chapter will be the values these values that are given to you in this table and most of the times you will require 10 theta okay uh, but a lot of us uh, struggle with uh, finding these values remembering these values although we have learned these values in past classes we have seen this table already in the past but we struggle with remembering the values so i'll try to give you a very simple tip that will help you in solving the questions and remembering these values the only thing that i'll ask you to remember will be the value of sin theta okay see sin theta 0 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree now the values how do they go 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 if you remember just this much if you draw the table five times you will remember this value okay for cos theta you just have to go reverse so whatever you have written for sine 0 degree comes for cos 90 degree okay so let us start from this end this time again we we'll go in the same pattern 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 so effectively you are required to remember only the value of sine theta and you can find out cos theta by just placing the values in the reverse order now all of us know that uh, 10 theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta is equal to 10 theta we know this already okay so if you just place these values in this formula okay we will you will find the value for 10 0 degree 10 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and the last one becomes undefined because we are dividing 1 by 0 okay so this is pretty easy to solve but i would highly highly recommend that you master this table otherwise you will always find it difficult to solve the questions from this chapter okay now let us move on to how to actually use these values and use whatever we have learned in the actual questions we will start from some basic questions and slowly we will move on to more difficult questions let's begin question number one the angle of elevation of the top of a tree from a certain point is 45 degrees. If the observer moves 30 meters towards the tree, the angle of elevation becomes 60 degree. What is the height of the tree? 
Now see, a pretty easy question to solve. Okay, what's given to you? It's given that you've got a tree here. Let's uh, suppose that the tree is CB with a height H. Okay, and uh, if I stand on the ground at point A and I try to look at the top of the tree, I form an angle of elevation which is equal to 45 degrees here. Okay, this is given to me in the question. And when I try to move from point A to point D on the base, I cover a distance of 30 meters and I try to look at the top of the tree again. And now the angle of elevation that I form is 60 degree. What I'm required to find? I'm required to find the height of the tree. Okay. Now let's try to solve this question. From trigonometry, we know that 10 theta in a right angled triangle is equal to perpendicular upon base. Now, this is something that we are going to use here. Okay. Let us consider two triangles in this figure. Let us first consider the triangle, triangle C, D, B. The angle of elevation here is 60 degree. So, tan 60 degrees is equal to what? It is equal to perpendicular upon base. Perpendicular here is H and base here is DB. Right? And we know that tan 60 degree is equal to what? It is equal to root 3. From here, we understand that DB is equal to H upon root 3. This is the first relation that we have got. Let's mark this one. Okay. Now, what is the second triangle that we can consider here? Let us consider the triangle CAB. In this triangle, the angle formed is 45 degrees. So, what am I going to get? I am going to get tan 45 degrees. In triangle CAB, tan 45 degrees is equal to perpendicular upon base again. Perpendicular is CB whose height is H we have assumed and the base is AB. AB I can write as AD plus DB, right? And the value of AD is 30 meters, 30. It is given to me in the question and DB we can write as it is, okay? So, the value of tan 45 we know that is equal to 1. 1 is equal to H upon 30 plus DB. Right? Which means H is equal to 30 plus DB. This is the second thing that we have got here. Okay? Now, can we place the value of DB as we found in one equation, the first relation? In the second? Okay? Yes, we can. So, from here H is equal to 30 plus h upon root 3, right? Can we compute the value of h from here? Yes, we can do that and very easily because if we take h upon h minus h upon root 3, this is equal to 30. What I'll do? I'll just take h common and root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 is equal to 30. Right? This is basic simplification that I am doing. Nothing else. Okay? From here, what do I get? I get H is equal to 30 root 3 upon root 3 minus 1 meters. This is one possibility of finding an option like this. Okay? So, if you find this option in your answers, you can mark this. But if the question goes a step further and needs you to for this, solve it. Place the value of root 3 and solve this uh, do numerical values further. You can do that pretty easily. How can you do that? 30 root 3 upon root 3 minus 1. Let us multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 3 plus 1. Okay? Root 3 plus 1. So, my numerator now is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. My a square becomes 3 and my b square becomes 1. So, 3 minus 1 is 2 what I get and my numerator is 30 root 3 into root 3 plus 1. I can cancel this 15. Okay. So, when you solve this further taking the value of root 3 take the value of root 3 as 1.73. This is a standard thing which you should bear in mind. And when you try to put the value of root 3 as 1.73, the final answer that you get for this question will be 70.95 
meters so this is what your answer is going to be for the height of the tree see a pretty easy question to solve if you find it difficult anywhere just hold for a moment and watch it carefully question number 2 tree tops angle of elevation is 30 degree from a point on the ground 300 meter away from the tree when the tree grew up its angle of elevation became 60 degree from the same point how much did the tree grow okay uh, again a very easy question to solve now it is given to us that there is a tree let us assume that our tree is cb and its height is h okay and it stands at point b now the distance from the base of the tree is i am standing at point a the distance is 300 meters okay this is given in the question and when i look from point a to the top of the tree at the moment i make an angle of elevation which is equal to 30 degree but over the time the tree grows and it grows by cd the height cd and now standing at the same point when i look try to look at the top of the tree at the point d i form an angle of elevation which is 60 degree this is my new angle of elevation what am i required to find i am required to find the height of the tree which has grown that is cd let us assume that this height is x okay now let us try to solve this question we know that from trigonometry tan theta is equal to p upon b that is perpendicular upon base okay let's try to apply what we know in our question okay in triangle c a b triangle c a b what is the value of angle here the value of the angle here is 30 degrees okay so tan 30 degree is equal to perpendicular upon base perpendicular here is what cd which we have assumed to be h divided by the base is ab and we know that its value is what 300 meters right so 10 30 degree from here we know the value is 1 upon root 3 this is equal to h upon 300 so h is equal to 300 upon root 3 meters this is what this is the height of the tree okay if it is asked to you at any point of time but wait we are asked to find the how much has the tree grown that is the value of x so let us take the next triangle and it is in triangle d a b what is given it is given that the angle of elevation now becomes 60 degrees so tan 60 degrees is equal to what is the perpendicular here it is db and it can be written as x plus h right db we can write it as dc plus cb so it is x plus h divided by the base the base is 300 we know that tan 60 degree is what it is root 3 root 3 is equal to x plus h upon 300 so x plus h is what x plus h is equal to 300 root 3 now we already know that the value of h is 300 upon root 3 we found out in the first relationship so x plus 300 upon root 3 is equal to 300 root 3 is it difficult to solve from here it actually is not you can easily solve it x is equal to 300 root 3 minus 300 upon root 3 right taking the lcm it becomes root 3 here this is 900 minus 300 this is equal to 600 upon root 3 meters one is this okay but most of the times you will not find such easy options okay so if you are given a uh, direct option like 600 upon 3 uh, root 3 meters well and good but if you are not given learn to find out how to solve this type of values further so 600 upon root 3 can you write it as 200 into 3 right divided by root 3 now if i solve it what do i get i get 200 root 3 meters usually it is expected that you will solve the value that you have gotten earlier a little further and this kind of a value is usually given to you so you can solve the values and see what is the option given to you and how much you are required to 
simplify it otherwise a very easy question to solve the height of the tree by which the tree has grown is 200 root 3 meters so this value is 200 root 3 meters is the value of x okay let's move on to the next question now question number three there's a tower of 10 meter between two parallel roads the angles of depression of the roads from the top of the tower are 30 degree and 45 degree how far are the roads from each other let us assume that our roads the parallel roads pass through the point a and b respectively on the horizontal okay so the distance between them precisely is a b now our tower that is cd is 10 meter tall and it stands somewhere between these two parallel roads okay when you stand at point c and you look at point a the angle of depression that you form is say 45 degree okay so we have learned earlier that this is precisely this is effectively the angle that we are talking about for our calculation purpose okay and from c to b if you look the angle that effectively comes into picture here is 30 degrees and this is the angle that we are talking about okay uh, now what do we know we know that tan 30 degree tan theta is equal to p upon b we know from our trigonometry can we apply it in the question yes we can so let us try to apply it in triangle c a d what do we have in triangle c a d the angle is 45 degrees so tan theta is what tan 45 degrees here its value is what its value is perpendicular upon base perpendicular is cd cd the value is 10 meters divided by the base what is the base the base is ad right and we know that tan 45 degrees is equal to what its value is 1 now this means that ad is equal to 10 meters right so this distance ad in the figure is equal to 10 meters okay now what is the next thing that we have got here the next thing is another triangle in triangle cdb triangle cdb what is the angle it is 30 degrees so tan 30 degrees is equal to what is the perpendicular it is again 10 meters because cd is the perpendicular what is the base the base is db right so let us write db here the value of tan 30 degrees is what we know from the table is 1 upon root 3 so from here what do we get get we get db is equal to 10 root 3 now ab can be written as ad plus db right this is pretty easy and simple quite straightforward 10 plus 10 root 3 this is equal to maybe 10 into root 3 plus 1 this is one way of showing you the answer and asking you to mark the options if the question goes further you might be required to place the value of root 3 which you know is 1.73 plus 1 this is equal to what this is equal to 27.3 meters is the distance so ab is what it is nothing but 27.3 meters see you might feel that the question took a lot of time to solve but it is taking time to solve because you are beginning to practice okay once you have practiced once you know the concepts well and how to apply them you will straight away start from where you will straight away start from this step right because you will understand quickly 10 meters here so 10 45 degrees so ad becomes 10, uh, 10 meters all these things will happen in the mind right and you will be able to start from this step and it will hardly take 45 seconds no 45 seconds is even uh, more you maybe you will take only 30 seconds to 45 seconds to solve this type of a question pretty easy and straightforward let's go on to the next question question number four ramesh and suresh's mud forts have heights 8 centimeters and 15 centimeters they are 24 centimeters apart how far are the four tops from each other now pretty easy and simple question if you if you look at it so let us assume that our forts are AD with height 8 cm and our other fort is CB with height 15 cm and they are 24 cm apart that is the distance AB. Now the line DE is parallel to the ground. It's parallel to the horizontal. 
so i have taken its height uh, its distance also as 24 cm right now in this figure we are required to find out the distance between c and d because c is the top of this fort and d is the top of this fort so basically this is what is asked in the question okay now we see that ad is equal to 8 cm and cb is equal to 15 cm what do we get from here can we find out the value of ce from here ce is equal to what it becomes equal to cb minus eb right this is equal to eb can also be written as 8 cm because it is parallel and equal to da right so it becomes equal to 15 minus 8 that is 7 cm now this question is pretty straight and simple because you just have to apply your pythagoras theorem right so in triangle cde this is a right angle triangle now okay so uh, h square is equal to what h square is equal to h square i mean hypotenuse right is equal to 7 square plus 24 square right h value comes out to be what it comes out to be 25 cm this is the distance between the tops of the two forts right so this is the distance dc that we were trying to find out pretty straight and easy question let's move on to the next one question number 5 gutti was standing on a road near a mall she was 1000 meters away from the mall and able to see the top of the mall from the road in such a way that the top of the tree which is in between her and the mall was exactly in the line of sight with the top of the mall the tree height is 10 meters and it is 20 meters away from gutti how tall is the mall see the question is definitely lengthy to read but very easy to solve okay so there is no need to get scared because you can solve this type of questions in hardly 30 seconds okay now let us see that uh, cb let us assume that this is the mall okay and ab is the horizontal where gutti is standing at the point a okay now here de let us assume that this is the tree that we are talking about now this tree is standing in such a way that if gutti sees from here her line of sight passes through the top of the tree and goes to the mall stop okay so it is like this okay and they are in line right which means if they are in line they are forming a same angle here so this let us assume that this angle is theta okay so for the smaller triangle right for the smaller triangle let us say d a e what is the value of 10 theta 10 theta is equal to what d e that is perpendicular upon base which is a e this is equal to d e is nothing but height of the tree a is the distance of gutti from the tree so this is equal to 1 by 2 okay now if we talk about the bigger triangle triangle c a b in this case also 10 theta is what 10 theta is equal to cb upon ab but 10 theta 10 theta in both the cases theta is the same angle right so its value has to be same what value we found out in the first relationship is 1 by 2 right so cb is what cb is something that we have to find out ab is given 1000 1 by 2 so value of cb is what the value of cb comes out to be 500 meters from here okay so the mall is actually 500 meters tall mall okay very easy variety of a question rather than going through all the steps you can just equate 10 upon 20 is equal to cb upon 1000 once you have practiced and you know this is where you are ultimately going to arrive at but again that requires practice okay with practice you can solve this type of questions in hardly 30 seconds let's move on to the next one question number 6 a lighthouse is built to give directions to the sailing ships it observes that a ship is sailing towards it in a straight line and at a uniform speed it also notices the angle of depression to change from 
30 degrees to 45 degrees in 15 minutes. Right? How soon will the ship reach the lighthouse? Now, again, a very, very popular type of a question that you'll find in most of the exams. Uh, looks a little lengthy, but very easy to solve. So, don't get scared at all. Okay? Now, let us see what is given here. We are given a lighthouse. Let us assume that CB is our lighthouse and its height is H. Okay? The ship is at initially position A. Okay? And from here, the angle of depression formed is 30 degrees. Okay? Now, the ship moves this distance AD in 15 minutes and it reaches the point D from where the angle of depression form is 45 degrees. Okay? Let us assume that the distance AD is X and uh, distance DB is Y. Okay? So, now from the basic trigonometry that we know, let us consider in triangle C, D, B. The angle of depression formed is 45 degrees. So, 10, 45 degrees is equal to what? It is equal to H upon base. That is why 10, 45 degrees is equal to 1. We know from our table. This implies that H is equal to Y. This is the first relationship that we have got. And it is very, very important. Pay attention to this. Okay. Now, let us consider the next triangle that is given to us in triangle C, A, B. The angle formed is 30 degrees. So, tan 30 degrees is equal to height we know is H that is perpendicular upon base is what? Base is A, B. A, B can be written as A, D plus D, B. Right? So, this is equal to H upon A, D. We have taken it to be X and Y. This is a, db is y, but from relationship 1, we know that h is equal to y. So, we can replace y with h here, right? So, this is equal to 1 upon root 3 because 10, 30 degree is root 3. What do we get from here? From here, we simply get root 3 h is equal to x plus h. This means x is equal to h common root 3 minus 1, right? Now, x is a distance. It is a distance of uh, a d from point a to point d and it is covered in how long it does it take? It takes 15 minutes to cover this distance. Now, apply the unitary method. Okay. If it takes 15 minutes to cover a distance of h root 3 minus 1, if it takes this much time for this distance, how much time will it take for h distance to be covered? It will take 15 upon h multiplied by root 3 minus 1 into h. Right? We are simply applying the unitary method, nothing else. Okay? So, this is equal to how much? This is equal to 15 upon 0.73 what? Minutes. You can easily solve this now. 1500 upon 73. This is equal to what? 20 point nine for minutes if you solve it if you divide it you will get this as your answer so this is quite a simple question to solve you can see that we have not done anything very special to solve this question but if it troubles you anywhere i would advise that you stop the video here you can replay this much of the part and try to understand it better okay let's move on to the next question now question number seven Ram stands on the top of a building and observes a car going away from the building. It is going away from the building. When the car is at 60 meters from the building, the angle of depression is 45 degrees. After 5 seconds, it is 30 degrees. What is the speed of the car? Again, a very popular type of a question. You will find it in a lot of exams. But again, a very easy question to solve. So, there is no need to get scared. Okay. What are we given? We are giving that there is a building. Let, it, let us suppose that the building is CB and its height is H. Okay. Now, Ram is standing at the top that is point C and from there he sees that there is a car at point D. Okay. And the angle of depression that is formed is 45 degrees. Okay. Now, this is the angle that is we are effectively talking about. So, this is 45 degrees. Okay. And it says that the distance of the car at the moment from the building base, that is DB, is equal to 60 meters. Okay. 
now the car starts going away from the building okay and it reaches say the point a here he again sees that the angle of depression is 30 degrees now and it has taken 5 seconds for this to happen okay 5 uh, seconds for the car to come from d to point a where the angle of depression is 30 degrees okay now what are we required to uh, find out we are required to find out the speed of this car okay and it is said that the speed of the car is uniform again we have to just apply whatever we already no okay so let us see what happens in triangle cdb the angle of depression is 45 degrees so it is tan 45 degrees that we are talking about it is equal to perpendicular upon base perpendicular here is h the base is what the base is db its value is what 60 and tan 45 degrees is equal to 1 so this is equal to 1 which means h is equal to 60 meters 2 which means that the height of the tower we are given with is 60 meters okay this is what we find from here now the next thing let us see triangle c a b what happens in this triangle the angle here is what it is 30 degree so tan 30 degree is equal to what is the height it is 60 that is the perpendicular upon what is the base height it is a b the base is a b okay this is equal to 60 upon ad plus db db is what again 60 and the value of tan 30 is what 1 upon root 3 this we know so from here what do we get 60 root 3 is equal to ad plus 60 which means ad is equal to 60 root 3 minus 1 okay or you can say 60 multiplied by 1.73 that is the value of root 3 minus 1 this is what this is equal to nothing but 43.8 meters if you solve i have already solved it and checked it you can check it yourself when you do the calculations okay now for this distance this is the distance ad right for a distance of 43.8 meters it is given in the question that the car takes what it takes 5 seconds okay so what is the speed of the car speed is equal to distance upon time this we have learnt in our chapter right speed distance time you remember we learnt this okay so the distance here is 43.8 meters upon the time is what 5 seconds so this is equal to how much does it come out to be it comes out to be 8.76 meter per second this is the speed of the car in meter per second okay now there is a possibility that the answer is given to you in kilometers per hour so whenever you want to convert from meter per second to kilometer per hour what do you do we again learned this in our speed distance time chapter 8.76 we multiply it by 18 18 by 5 right so this is equal to 8.76 into 18 by 5 kilometers per hour and if you try to find out the calculations the value works out to be 13.53 kilometers per hour okay so the car is running away from the tower at a speed of 31.53 kilometers per hour question number 8 angles of elevation of pole are 60 degree and 45 degree from points at distance m and n on the ground respectively here m when measured from base of the pole is less than n what is the height of the pole now in this type of a question the pole is given to you let us assume that our pole is cb because that is the perpendicular we have got here okay and it is given that there are two angles of depressions formed when you look from the top of the pole that is from point c okay the angle of depression at point d is what it is 60 degrees and at point a it is 45 degrees it is also given that the distance db is m because n is the larger distance which means ab is n okay so now what do we have from here from the triangle c 
सी ए डी वी हैव द एंगल इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज हेयर सो वी हैव टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज इज इक्वल टू वॉट इट इज इक्वल टू हाइट ऑफ द पोल दैट इज सी बी डिवाइडेड बाई एन दैट इज द बेस राइट सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वॉट दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वॉट वी नो फ्रॉम दैट टेबल इट इज वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन दिस इज द फर्स्ट रिलेशनशिप दैट वी हैव गॉट ओके नाउ वॉट इज द सेकेंड रिलेशनशिप दैट वी हैव गॉट हेयर ट्राइंगल सी डी बी लेट इज कंसिडर द सेकेंड ट्राइंगल सो द एंगल ऑफ डिप्रेशन हेयर इज सिक्सटी डिग्री और टेन सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज द परपेंडिकुलर हेयर इट इज सी बी एंड द बेस इज वॉट इट इज एम राइट so this is equal to what this is equal to root 3 because we know that 10 60 degree is equal to root 3 so this is the second relationship that we have got okay so now if we multiply 1 and 2 what do we get we get cb multiplied by n into cp cb divided by n multiplied by cb divided by m is equal to 1 into root 3 this is what we get right this is equal to cb square divided by mn is equal to what it is equal to root 3 isn't it from here what do we get we get cb is equal to root 3 multiplied by mn right this is square cb square is equal to root 3 multiplied by एम एन सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सी बी अल्टीमेटली टेकिंग स्क्वायर रूट फॉर द साइड सो इट बिकम्स स्क्वायर रूट ओवर एम एन एंड वी ऑलरेडी हैव रूट थ्री हेयर सो दिस रूट थ्री ऑल्सो गेट्स अ स्क्वायर रूट सो द वैल्यू इज अल्टीमेटली एम एन स्क्वायर रूट थ्री एंड द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द होल थिंग सो दिस इज द हाइट ऑफ द पोल अल्टीमेटली See, looks a little difficult question, but actually it is not difficult. The only thing is that you have to pay attention to C B square when you solve it. How do you take the square root? When you mark the options, pay attention to this thing. This is the only and only important thing that might skip your eye. Okay, otherwise rest of the question is pretty easy as you can see. Okay, so guys, with this I really hope that whatever we have learned in today's video is going to help you solve the questions from. this chapter and now that since you have learned this chapter make sure that you go back to careerwrite.com where you will find a lot of practice questions practice them and master them if you have found today's video useful make sure that you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also and if you want to keep yourself updated with more such videos on quantitative aptitude or logical reasoning that can help you crack your placement tests and entrance exams make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we'll be releasing a lot of videos on different chapters of quantitative aptitude that are going to help you crack these exams okay bye bye for now take care